the situation here with uh, Ebola and what goes with that. Now, remember, um, the, the symptoms of um, ideological decadence uh, – are all around us here in the uh, in the world of late imperialism. Right, the end of history is a very sad time, as uh, Fukuyama always said. So this is not the end of history, but it is uh, the imperialist decadence of the current system, and therefore we see all of these uh, pathological aspects of uh, the prevailing uh, mindset. It starts with things like superstition, magical thinking, fetishism. It includes false consciousness, uh, alienation, uh, contempt for reason, and a big stress on purely irrational uh, intuition. Irrationalism is one of the hallmarks of the entire thing. Cultural relativism, that all civilizations are the same, the backward, the advanced, the scientific, the uh, magical, a witch doctor is as good as a uh, trained physician. No. Sorry, they're not. Subjectivism, radical subjectivism, uh, the denial of reality, and these other things. Now, this is what we're seeing. Um, one example, uh, Joan Quigley, who had been the astrologer behind the Reagan administration, has unfortunately uh, passed away this past week, or perhaps even uh, even um, uh, before that, but it's now in the uh, – in the newspapers. So for seven years after the Hinckley assassination attempt, Nancy Reagan was scared out of her wits and uh, she called in an astrologer and the astrologer ran large parts of the United States government and got paid privately for this uh, purpose. Um, Mrs. Quigley said that over seven years she issued guidance in exchange for money that went far beyond mundane scheduling to matters of diplomacy, the Cold War politics, and even the timing of the president's cancer uh, surgery. Um, she said, I would participate in a more intimate way uh, than the publicly recognized insiders of the greatest uh, importance. This was exposed, of course, by Don Regan, not happy for being scapegoated for Iran-Contra, Oliver North and George Bush, the elder, should have taken the fall on that, but they scapegoated Don Regan. He got back by exposing Nancy Reagan, uh, New York Post. Astrologer runs the White House. That's about right. Um, and think about any any more Republican presidents, uh, you're going to have heavy, heavy uh, inputs of this uh, Type. So that's uh, her story. But let's look at this Ebola. Uh, big media exposure this week for nurse Casey Hickox. Um, I think this woman is uh, narcissistic, quite possibly mentally disturbed. But the point is that she is the graduate of a an elite program for intelligence officers of the Centers of Disease Control. I think it's called the Epidemic Information Service. She's a graduate of uh, advanced training in that area, and she's also linked to Médecins Sans Frontières. That is a, a highly politicized organization itself, MSF. You may remember the uh, mm, interventionist um, French foreign minister Bernard Kouchner. I think he was still around for the bombing of Libya, wasn't he? Uh, Kouchner uh, also, he had been the, one of the founders of this thing. So now uh, this woman arrogates to herself the idea that she can decide whether quarantine measures are in order or not. Now, there is no doubt that American states have quarantine powers. These have been used traditionally over time. Uh, it is interesting that Casey Hickox uh, says, I am the victim of all this. Well, actually, the Africans are the victims, and then – other people who have actually gotten it, uh, th those are the victims, not Casey uh, Hickox. And she talks about stigma and that she doesn't want to be a pariah. This is absolutely uh, off the charts. Any serious, trained health, public health official or caregiver knows that quarantine and or isolation are normal, routine aspects of public health and the idea that 
she makes a public spectacle of herself insisting that for these few days she be allowed to cavort into, um, <clears throat> God knows, restaurants, uh, public libraries. Any You have to figure that any establishment she visits is going to be closed down. We're told that the hospital where she works is getting phone calls saying, we want to know if she's going to be there because if she's there, we're not coming. This extends to her local uh, pizzeria. Uh, the Internet has it that her lawyer is also from the Centers for Disease Control. I would tend to regard her as a kind of Jessica Lynch of the current situation. Remember, the idea of Anglo-American propaganda is always little people. You've got to have a concrete person who embodies the thesis because many people cannot relate to abstract ideas only to people. Jessica Lynch was produced in such a way. Casey Hickox is now being produced. And I'm, I'm really wondering, is, is Jerry Bruckheimer uh, on the case? Uh, quite uh, interesting to find that out. Um, what she doesn't seem to understand is that there are – an ob there's an objective side to this and a subjective side. For her, there's only the subjective side, radical subjectivism. I don't want to be confined. I am the victim. I'm a narcissist. Again, I think this is uh, pretty much pretty unstable uh, mental processes. But the objective side is really what we have to look at. The goal of public health is to prevent certain disease microbes from entering the population in question. If you can keep them out, you want to try to do that. And I would ask her, if you're willing to go to Africa and risk your life in an admirable humanitarian effort, compared to risking your life, what possible significance is there in being invited to take a three-week vacation, which for her by now is down to a two-week vacation, two more weeks from today, Halloween, She's out of the woods. She's free and clear. No problem. Uh, it's unfortunate that the traditional public health standpoint has to be defended by somebody like Christie. We've made clear here our contempt for him or Governor LePage of, uh, of Maine. We're hoping to see him voted out of office if that uh, third party um, stalking horse can be uh, swept aside. Uh, after his uh, pathetic press conference this week. But you get the idea. Um, U.S. troops coming back from not treating people, staying away from victims of the disease, but the Pentagon is quarantining the troops, isolating them for 21 days.